More than a month after Winston Smith was shot and killed by law enforcement in uptown Minneapolis, unrest continues and some neighbors say they have had enough. Videos like what you just saw are making the rounds on social media, showing people firing guns into the air and setting things on fire. Devon Roming is live in Minneapolis tonight with how the city is responding to safety concerns. Devon? Hey, Randy, yeah, protests in the uptown neighborhood have many business owners and residents on edge and city leaders tell me they're doing everything in their power to try to control it, but they simply don't have the manpower to do so. From spin outs to gunshots, these chaotic scenes have become all too common in the uptown neighborhood of Minneapolis in the after hours of recent protests. This is not about peaceful protest. When you take a gun out, you've gone well beyond peace. 32 gunshots were fired from the driver of this car while doing donuts in the middle of the intersection at Lagoon and Hennepin Wednesday night, raising major concerns for those who live nearby. There's concerns in um, not knowing what's going to happen. Control, which City Council President Lisa Bender said in a statement, is in the hands of Mayor Jacob Fry. Why is this being allowed to happen? Well, I condemn it in the strongest possible terms. And when you've seen uh, this massive attrition that we've seen from the department over this last year, lost as much of a third of our police officers, that has an impact. Have there been any discussions about what's being done to recruit more officers here in the area? A ton of discussions. You can't hire a cop off of Amazon. You got to make sure that they're trained in, they're recruited, they're sworn in. That all takes time. And, you know, from the very beginning, I've talked about a both end approach, you know, not defunding or getting rid of police but making sure that we can instill accountability in everything that they're doing. As frustrating as some of these acts may be, regardless of the motives behind them, for those who call the neighborhood home, they're sticking together in hopes of better days ahead. But everybody in my neighborhood, we're here, you know, because we got each other's backs. Now, the city says they're working with officers from neighboring departments as well as, as well as some of the federal agents from the FBI and ATF for investigative purposes. And they're also working with community activist groups to help de-escalate some of the crime. Randy. All right. Thank you, Devon.